hello friends welcome back so today in this video we are going to discuss about what are the various components of computer so in this video i will be making you understand what are the different components of computer how computer make use of these components and work efficiently and uh, we will be discussing each and every part of the computer so that there uh, after watching this video uh, you will you didn't have any kind of doubt that uh, what is this part of computer and what uh, what is that part of computer each and every part of the computer I will be telling you in this video so let's start the video so as you are uh, as you are viewing on your screen uh, there is a picture of a computer PC personal computer so here as you can see it's a monitor it's a cabinet uh, is the main component of the computer so uh, we can say it's the brain of uh, the machine and here's the keyboard uh, it's a uh, uh, input object uh, here is the mouse it's also an input object uh, monitor is output object and if we have speakers here uh, they are also output objects if we have webcam here that that is also that is also a input object because it is taking images it is taking images it is recording video so it is taking the things inside of it and processing the things and the cabinet where our processor our gpu our motherboard our ram and different things main things are there is inside of the cabinet so the cabinet is the processing system basically it process the data and and the data the process data after that goes through wires and come through our monitor screen or uh, the speakers to as an output so um, let's start with the, the processor so as we know uh, there are different kind of processor available in markets of different brands different companies every year launches their different and new generation processors so the best true brand processor that are currently at the top in this marketplace in this world are of uh, Intel and Ryzen so in Intel, uh, we come to know about uh, i3 processor, i5 processor, i7 processor, i9 processor. Their latest series processor is of i9, and uh, and with that processor, uh, they are also providing the generation of the processor, which type of generation of this processor is. So in i3, uh, as of as of now, that is tw uh, to 2023. Uh, there is a latest generation processor that is of 13th generation processor and for other like i5 and uh, i7 and i9 there are same generation 13th generation processors is going on the i3 i5 i7 differs from each other from their processing speed if uh, you have a processor of i3 with 13th generation and you have a processor of i9 with 13th generation then uh, in then in i9 there will be more threads more cores to compute the uh, things that you are doing on your computer uh, rather than uh, there are less things on i3 13th generation processor so uh, according to that also the prices get changed uh, the i3 processor ranges around 15,000 to 20,000 of 13th generation and i9 processor with 13th generation may range you around uh, 90,000 to 1,20,000 that depends upon what type of processor you are taking because in processor if you have a 13th generation processor then the there are different series of 13th generation processor there is a U series of 13th generation processor, there is a P series of 13th generation processor and there is a H series of 13th generation processor. So for uh, so if you have if don't if you don't have any heavy task to do you go to your office you have to you have a, you want to uh, buy a 
PC for your personal use you don't have to play games heavy tasks so you can buy a huge series processor it is meant for uh, mm, uh, it's uh, meant for uh, basically the low task performing CPU but uh, if you choose i313 generation processor with u series is less powerful than i9 with u series because i9 u3 series is very much powerful than i i3 u series uh, of 13 generation and uh, and the second series is p series so p series for those who want to do moderate things like uh, they want to play gaming they want to do video editing and stuffs like that uh, like um, not very much high work or not very much low work they want moderate work to be done by their system so they can go with p series and uh, last one is our h series so h series is a very 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 fast processor it consumes lots of energy and its gdb ratio is very high so if you have very uh, very what we say very lots of computing tasks and you want to complete um, uh, that in less time then you can go with h series processor h series processor take lots of uh, what we say power and uh, it consumes lots of power to compute the things and its TDP is also high so as I have told you if you go with i9 13th generation processor it it goes around 90,000 to 120,000 why I have said that because there are different series of processor according to the series U series you may get it uh, for 90,000 P series you may get it for around one lakh five thousand S series you may get around one lakh twenty thousand so processor is a very interesting thing it uh, it basically works on binary code like zero and one zero one zero one for different alphabets there is a different code and if uh, for example if you write uh, somebody's name like uh, someone name is uh, Arjun and uh, if we like if we write Arjun then the, there are uh, mm, what uh, there are how many alphabets are there a u r g Arjun G U N Arjun so there are six al alphabets so for each alphabets there is a different binary code and uh, and then after this like uh, for a let's uh, let us suppose there is a binary code of 0 1 for R there is a binary code of 0101 for U for J there is a binary code of 0001000 and like that this all binary codes combined with each other and form the name Arjun and these binary codes are uh, and are then then packed in a container and which is which called bit it has a size of 8 it can handle o only the 8 8 digit binary code and then the packets binary um, containers are then sent to the um, processor and processor after that uh, compute the things uh, uh, what we what the um, user is telling to the processor it's computing the things and then it is giving the output according to the need of the user so we can say the processor is the brain of the computer or the PC so it's very 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 what we say very main part of the computer it's very precious thing and don't try to open your PC and check it how my processor look like because they have the pins if you uh, if you if you uh, if you touch any of the pin and it get uh, it get uh, deflected then it may cause you lot of money because each and every pin in the processor have its own work so one pin is misplaced from its 
bottom area then uh, the wall processor get uh, vanish so after that we have our ram so what are ram ram are the random access memory also for the full form of ram is random access memory ram are the basically read and they basically show the read and write speed of the pc for example if you are opening surfing through a website and you scroll down scroll and scroll down and how fast you are able to scroll down the things uh, if your is your is your pc stuck in in while when when you are scrolling down that depends upon your ram how fast is your uh, ram is reading that thing so currently there are different types of ram like ddr3 ddr4 lp ddr5 so latest generation ram is lp ddr5 with a 32 me 3200 mega hertz speed in lp ddr4 and uh, around uh, 5500 megahertz speeds with lp ddr5 so lots of speed to read so and i have told you about read speed uh, now let's come to the write speed so write speed is if you are uh, uh, giving any input to your pc so how fast is how fast it is able to write the things how far uh, fast it is able to compute the things that you are writing on your pc and how far fast it is giving the output according to your uh, according to your uh, input that's about all about ram there are different variety of ram like uh, you have a 4 gb ram 6 gb ram 8 gb ram and maximum you can go around 500 gb ram 1000 gb ram that depends upon uh, the what kind of pc you have what kind of uh, monitor uh, what kind of sorry what kind of motherboard you have after that let's comes to our next part that is our ssds so ssd are basically the storing devices in personal computers so they basically store the things there is uh, earlier there was hdd SGD were um, SGD working process was on rotation thing rotating the disk inside the that uh, uh, hard drive uh, but in SGD it works on chemical uh, it works as a chemical uh, processing so um, SGD is more faster than SGD processor and uh, um, nowadays uh, the usage of SGDs has been disc decreased drastically and the SDD is in uh, uses of SDD are increasing in personal computers series and everywhere in this world um, in a very good amount so there are different brands that of that that they offer uh, SDD so latest generation SDD is of uh, generation SDD of generation 4 SDDs they are really a fast speed their read and write speed is uh, very good and if you choose good uh, frequency good megahertz uh, STD then what will happen then your uh, boot time of your uh, PC will also uh, get uh, shorter and uh, you will get uh, much uh, time mu much easy to use and you will get uh, more more access to your PC so I request if you are buying a new PC so you should always check what type of SDD it has and uh, and uh, it should be uh, around 550 512 GB minimum because nowadays there are lots of storage uh, we need lots of we require lots of storage so minimum you can take to 512 GB storage and you, you may take um, less or more than that according to your budget so next is our graphic card so graphic what is a graphic card so graphic card are basically for those who play games 
if you have uh, graphic related uh, things uh, if you want to work on graphic related things if, if you have any work like if you want to mm, do video editing if you want to do uh, like uh, 3d animation things and uh, mm, like uh, photoshop then you can choose a good a uh, good quality of graphic card you can go with 16 gb of nvidia graphic card that is very good if you are doing a good amount of uh, video editing and uh, playing very intensive game then you can go with that but uh, the graphic card also consume lots of power so according to your needs according to your requirements you can you should choose your the graphic card so these are the main components for uh, first of all our cpu is the most important component after that is our ram after that is our ssd in third number after that if you want more if you want more speed you can go with graphic card and uh, these three are the must the cpu the ram and the ssd but if you want to <coughs> if you want something in a plus then you can go with graphic card and if you play a game in a very intensive games then you have to you should go with graphic cards if you don't play games in that uh, level so you may not go with graphic card <coughs> that was the components uh, inside our cabinet so what is a cabinet so cabinet uh, is a thing in which all the components like CPU, like uh, the RAM, like SSD, like graphic card is there. So uh, you are uh, you are able you are of uh, the what what you are watching on your screen is the cabinet. So here is the processor thing. Here is the graphic card. Here are the RAMs. There are wirings and these are the cooling things they are basically exhaust and intake of air is are from here and this is the cabinet you can make you can also choose a good cabinet for cooling purpose to coolly cool down your the your system inside your cabinet inside the cabinet uh, this thing you are watching is a motherboard so what is a motherboard motherboard is look like this it is a like of factory place in which different sections are there and each section there are workers doing their own job like in this section there is a work there are workers called ram random access memory in this section there are workers called graphic card GPU graphical processing unit they work here they work for the graphic section of this computer here the main component CPU and here are the connections for the uh, output input and there are different um, transistor register capacitors are there in your motherboard so motherboard is the thing which provide a platform to um, work all the things in a one place like there are 11 players in a ground of cricket then how they play if they don't have any ground to play so these are the players and the ground is the motherboard so all are working on their work and all are doing their work and the output is then output is then mm, delivered to the uh, output system like monitor speakers through these connectors they are connected with wires and uh, we get the output that was our motherboard after this we have our monitor what is a monitor monitor is the output system through which we get the output substances like uh, we are playing any game and uh, 
what kind of graphic we are getting what uh, how it is uh, viewing to us are we are we able to view each and every element of it are we able to view the leaves are we able to view the grass that depends upon your the processing unit your graphic card your cpu and the uh, monitor what frequency of monitor you are taking uh, what i mean by frequency what refresh rate what is refresh rate of your monitor so there are different types of refresh different kind of uh, refresh rate monitors are there so you have 120 hertz refresh rate monitor 240 hertz refresh rate monitor 900 hertz refresh rate monitor what is a refresh rate refresh rate is basically how fast is your computer able to uh, Mm, ref able to make us view the thing that is on there so I uh, if you are taking a good uh, amount of uh, uh, good things like if you are taking good internal things of cabinet like CPU mm, CPU RAM and GPU then you should go with a good uh, uh, good monitor that of a good uh, refresh rate and uh, monitor is a very important part because here from here only we get uh, the output and uh, how the things are going inside our uh, how the things are going and the what we have uh, mm, put inside the PC as the input we get the output th through one of the system called monitor and there are other systems also like speakers mm, who give us us output uh, like uh, here are speakers so if we play some of the song or if we are streaming any uh, web series or film then the speakers uh, depends how your so sound experience is if you are playing a game then speakers also uh, play a big role so speakers are also a good output unit and uh, after that our input unit are there like mouse you can scroll things you can point pointer you can point anywhere mm, you want if you have anything to close then you can close minimize minimize and uh, mouse uh, basically mouse give us access to each and every part and that is mm, that we are able to view on our monitor we get the access of that after that we have our keyboard so keyboard is also the very important input unit it take input what is going in our mind and then it uh, mm, it provide us output according to that keyboard is very important thing and uh, pc and uh, after keyboard we have our ups if you have uh, mm, we should uh, buy a ups if you are buying a personal computer because what a ups does is uh, when your computer or a pc is running if by chance some uh, electricity shortcut is sh short circuit is there by chance uh, i electricity short uh, short circuit has happened uh, in your house so what happens your p whole pc gets shut down immediately so in that case mm, uh, if you suppose you are working in some of the work and all of the work you are working uh, get vanished and they it didn't, didn't get saved and if this happen um, more than one more than times then it can cause your uh, windows it can cause your mm, internal uh, units to get uh, uh, to get vanished and they basically get uh, get useless if if this thing happen because the sudden closure of the uh, system get uh, effect to the internal organs internal components of the PC so these are the things and that's all for this video uh,
today I have told you each and every component of the PC if uh, if you are the person who didn't know anything about PC what is a PC what are the components of PC I may hope that you come to know about many of the things in from this video and uh, th that's all for this video uh, meet in let's meet in next video till then bye